September is Suicide Prevention Awareness Month, a time to raise awareness about a topic that is still very much stigmatized. But KTVB and Optum Idaho are working to shift the perception of mental health by encouraging our community to talk about mental health and help reduce both emotional and physical isolation. In this week's Hello Idaho, Kim Fields talked with Academy Award nominee and Idaho resident Mariel Hemingway about how she and her family have coped with emotional challenges. Why didn't the jury believe you? Mariel Hemingway was just 14 years old when she landed a breakout role alongside her sister Margot in the 1976 movie Lipstick. Her performance earned her a Golden Globe Gee. nomination. Gee, now I don't feel so good. Three years later, she would land an Academy Award nomination for her role in Manhattan, starring Woody Allen. This, you're a kid. You don't know what love means. I don't know what it means. But fame wasn't new to Mariel and her family. Her grandfather is Nobel and Pulitzer Prize winning author Ernest Hemingway, who died by suicide at his home in Ketchum just months before Mariel was born. Mariel has said growing up, she didn't know her grandfather died by suicide. I grew up in a generation, we didn't talk about, I mean, my family was like, we don't talk about those problems. I mean, I had, a, you know, I have a sister who suffers from mental illness and it was never spoken about, never. And it was never like that was the problem. Mariel talks about her family's troubled history in the 2013 documentary, Running From Crazy. She has called it a family curse. Seven members of the Hemingway family have died by suicide. Her sister Margot died in 1996. But breaking her silence wasn't always easy for Mariel. 15, 20 years ago when I sort of started speaking, it was way more, you know, shrouded in like taboo. We don't talk about this. I've had massive depression. I had suicidal ideation. It was years ago. And I, I did, you know, and I was, I came from such a shamed place about it. Mariel is now a crusader and advocate for mental health and believes talking about it is the first step in getting rid of the stigma. What's wonderful is that the more people tell their story, the more people that feel as though they're being heard and understood, the more solutions that can come from that. Um, because I'm a big believer there's not one solution to mental health issues. The 59-year-old now lives full-time in the Sun Valley area and wants to focus her efforts right here in Idaho, teaming up with Optum and creating the Mariel Hemingway Foundation. And what's great about Optum, and I love that I'm in, I, I'm back in Idaho and I'm back in my home state, our home state, um, to be able to make sure that this state is strong in its ability to address these issues. She envisions the foundation to be a resource so that people can better understand mental health, mental wellness, and mental balance. There are all kinds of different avenues to get to a place of balance, but there is a solution. There is recovery for people. Hemingway says she now thinks of her life as an adventure of discovering how she can continue to be healthier, happier, and more balanced. If you or someone you know is in need of help, call the Idaho Suicide Prevention Hotline at 800-273-8255 or text 208-398-4357. You don't have to be considering self-harm to call. If you or a loved one need to talk, call now.